everybody and welcome to Antique and Garden Showcase. I'm actually here in my car outside the Berea Artisan Center today. We're going to go inside and see some of the really neat things that they have to offer. It's a neat facility because everything in there is all Kentucky Proud or Kentucky Artist. It's a great place to find gifts for Christmas and all year long and they just offer so many wonderful products from um, art and artists around the state. Uh, I thought you'd enjoy taking a look so come on inside with me and we're going to uh, take a few uh, videos of things that are in there. So walking up to the Artisan Center, it is just a nice piece of architecture in its own right. It's a travel center right off Interstate 75 in Berea, Kentucky, and they offer so many products that are all Kentucky proud and Kentucky made. Uh, it's a great place to stop if you're driving down Interstate 75, but just a great place to visit for gifts and ideas all year long. They have such a wonderful display of things. So we're going to go inside and Take a look around and see what they have now for the Christmas season. When you enter the Artisan Center, you'll find this beautiful display of trees greeting you at the front door. In the main entrance hall, these are some of the first displays that will greet you. You can see there's a table full of L8. Cherry L8 is my absolute favorite. There's some neat Santa Clauses, some neat trees. Um, a lot of garden art you'll find in the Artisan Center, and I'll talk more about garden art a little bit later and some of these neat uh, dimensional figures that you're seeing here on the screen now. Um, some really good creativity in those. Um, on over you'll find another Christmas tree. This one's decorated in a horse theme for Kentucky. Uh, as you can see the top of the tree is a horse and rider. Um, lots of other different horse themed ornaments on there. Some really really neat baskets in there too. On the other side you're going to find uh, some cases that have uh, artist displays in them. This particular one's featuring uh, some baskets. Uh, on down, we'll see others that have uh, jewelry and uh, mineral uh, creations. We have a lot of geodes and different uh, rock formations that people make jewelry out of here in Kentucky. Agate, um, different types of quartz. Um, you'll find all kinds of jewelry made with uh, Kentucky minerals in these cases. A lot of different neat art forms. Some of the things that they feature in cases are also award winners and you'll just want to take time to look at those things um, and read about them as you go through. Each display in the Artisan Center typically has a lot of reading involved that you can look and learn about the history of the pieces as you're going through there. Upon entering the main exhibit space of the Artisan Center, one of the first things that I saw today were these amazing wooden toys and also these really creative Santa Clauses, some beautiful art glass that's uh, in the case there, and these wood carved vases are amazing. Uh, the toys themselves are just unbelievable, and while they look like something that should be in a museum and this place exhibits like a museum, everything here actually does have a price tag on it, so you can take these things home. Um, if there's something you want to buy and it's really neat because you're supporting uh, local Kentucky everything in the artisan center that you're seeing on these shelves was made in Kentucky by Kentucky artists and that's the most important thing to remember when you visit here lots of different potteries um, lots of different wood creations you're going to see so many different things um, hand-blown glass uh, gourd creations in this particular exhibit um, a lot of Kentucky growers um, grow gourds to um, do wood burning, whatever else. Uh, these pieces here are into more of the ceramics. And as you can see, the entire space, it's an expansive space, the Artisan Center, with a wide variety of things. We're going to get into some more of those in the different areas coming up. Well, this area was a total fascination to me, being a person who loves all things clocks. I was surprised to see so many neat handmade wooden clocks uh, with special little mechanical workings in them here at the Artisan Center. I've seen other types before, but these were much more intricate. Uh, as you can see, there's a nameplate there and some information about the person who created this coffee table. You'll find large pieces of furniture as well as accessories for the home. And as you can see on this shelf, all the different types of little hat style boxes. Um, some creative carvings, um, some ceramic mugs of different types, all sorts of pieces. Um, you'll find hand-blown glass. 
If you look out that window, you'll see the proximity to I-75, which runs right behind there. Um, more creative areas, creative artwork. Um, in this particular area, we're going to look in the cases here in just a second, but we're going to look at the quilts on the wall. Oh my goodness. Lots of different quilts. Some more Christmas trees put up with different themes. Uh, this table had some books on the 12 days of Kentucky Christmas, which I found to be pretty fascinating, and some other treats, different types of things there. Yeah, Kentucky's 12 days of Christmas. It's like an interesting read, and there's a snowman picture in glasses. Over here we've got some more wooden snowmen and Christmas trees carved. Very interesting case there. Also some more tall Santa Clauses, different shaped Santa Clauses and all sorts of things. Some baskets. This is one of my favorite areas of the Artisan Center. I like to think of this as the kitchen area. And that glassware right there, one of those pictures actually went home with me as a gift, so that's really neat stuff. You'll see all sorts of little intricate things in this area, things that you can take home, functional art that you can use, um, really, really beautiful pieces, neat things for your kitchen, for your home, and as we look on around, there's baskets there, um, all sorts of little figurines. We're getting into more of the cookbooks, and as you see here, um, you'll actually get into some of the Kentucky Proud goods that we have here at Elmwood Inn, uh, teas, uh, teapots, on down we get into some jams and jellies and the Weisenberger Mill products. That in itself is worth going for. Weisenberger Mill products are amazing milled products. Kentucky Ale 8, we've got jams and jellies of all different types here. Um, Kentucky Honeys. And as you can see, when you look down through here, just a wide array of things for the kitchen. This is a really, really neat area, and one that I like to spend a lot of time looking at. These little salt boxes and things are amazing for your kitchen counter to put your spices and things in. You can even get one with the picture of Kentucky on it there, or the little ones made out of different types of wood were really, really neat. Um, uh, kudos to the person who made these mugs. They were so realistic. I really, really enjoyed looking at these mugs when I was there that day. Uh, lady out of Winchester, super, super job on those. And as we finish out this kitchen area at the Artisan Center, we'll move on down towards the uh, wooden tools down here. These wooden tools I can actually vouch for being some of the best. I use them and I love them so much. And the textiles are also very, very good. In my opinion, there are candles and then there are Candleberry candles made in Kentucky. There's just really no comparison. And they give you such really neat um, containers that they come in. Uh, you just saw wine glasses up there. They come in also jars and all sorts of things that they put them in and the, the scents last forever. Uh, looking on down through here, we have um, even some leatherware. There's some neat little uh, daily planners, looks like. This is just one of my favorite areas overall because it just has so many neat kitchen uh, items for your home. These little sculptures made out of all sorts of types of, of various parts are really, really neat. They're great for indoors, but I have one that I keep outdoors in my garden that I love. It's a little dog and they kind of rust down naturally uh, and look really neat in the garden. Uh, while we're looking around here, this is kind of where this video is going to end. So I wanted to take this moment to uh, ask you if you like this video, you've seen something that you love, please like and subscribe it below. And as always, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. I hope you've really enjoyed this tour of the Artisan Center in Berea, Kentucky. They would love to have you as a visitor. Be sure to get out and patronize your local artist in your area. If you can't get to the Kentucky Artisan Center, look for this type of thing in your own area. It puts dinner on the table for people um, that really need it this time of year. Thanks again. We appreciate you uh, following along on our video of the Kentucky Artisan Center in Berea, Kentucky. Mm -hmm.